Barbara Corday called me and said, you know, Barney, uh, the feminist movement is going to pass you by. There was a movie called Julia came out with, uh, with uh, Vanessa Redgrave and, um, and Jane Fonda. It wasn't really a buddy movie, but it was certainly a movie about, that, that featured two women in the lead uh, in a different way than uh, because they had been estranged and they really weren't on the screen that much together. Uh, but Barbara called me and said, you know, Barney, you got, the movie's going to pass you by. This is taking too long. I think you should take it to television. And so I agreed with that idea. And what I did was I took the script that they wrote. Because no television network executive wants to know there's a script that exists. If they, they wouldn't be in development if, they, if, if, uh, if you could do this without them. So I took the script that we had and I excised all of the plot, all the scenes dealing with story. And I, what remained were about 35 to 40 pages of character scenes, scenes that were just generically who they were and how they related to each other. And I took those scenes and then I, 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 I put them together in a folder with some pages that bridge the narrative gaps, saying this is how they are at work, this is how they are at home, this is who they are with their fellow police officers. But this, the treatment, instead of it being in prose, which is what most treatments are, now began fade in, exterior Manhattan day, and it began to be, it's look, it read like a movie script for five pages, and then it stopped, and then it went on for another four pages and stopped. So it was more it was a more entertaining read than the average uh, uh, and more friendly read than the average uh, presentation. I took it to every network uh, as a drama with comedy and failed. I then went back to every network and took it in as a comedy with drama and failed. I then took it to to, uh, to NBC and to ABC as a movie for television and was told it's too episodic and got it then finally to CBS. It was the last place I went because I knew no one at CBS at that time. And uh, Peter Frankovich was uh, an executive at those days, and he, he liked it. And he called me up and he said, you know, this is really a good television series, Barney. I said, look, Peter, I'll be honest with you. This is damaged goods. I've tried to sell it to your television people. They don't get it. He says, well, I get it. He said, let's make it. I said, terrific. And I brought in Barbara Corday, because Barbara Avenon was then on a holiday somewhere traveling. And Barbara and I pitched a new idea for a movie for television called Cagney and Lacey, based on these 35 pages of character uh, stuff. So we came up with a new plot, which then Avedon wrote. And they did not write it as a team because Corday had decided to, s to quit the business as a writer and to go into being an executive, which he was then at ABC. And so now it was a, to, to end their partnership in a friendly way, Corday gave her partner what is a, a great gift, which was a first single writing credit on stuff they had really created together, a great deal of stuff, and much of it created by Barbara Corday. But Avedon wrote the script. The show went on the air on a Tuesday night, and it got a 42 share, 42 percent of America watching television that night was watching Cagney and Lacey. It was a bona fide hit, monster hit. Okay. Within 24 hours, I was in uh, Harvey Shepard's office, and he was asking me, can you turn this into a series? And I said, watch me, <laughs> you know? 